Hello everyone, welcome back to Celeste Strawberry Jam. It is day five right now. The footage you're about to see is from day four because uh, I uh, played a little bit before deciding to end the episode. Uh, so yeah, just a reminder, this is your uh, not last chance. There's there's a, another video after this where you have a chance, actually two videos, okay, it's a long time. There's a long time left that you can vote on what level I play between the cracked and the heart side. So if you want to get in on that, head over to Patreon. Anyway, back to the level. What have we got for this room? By the way, my hands are already sore, so I might not be able to do this one. Alright, so it looks like we have to go... Demo through there? Perhaps? That one's weird. And there's spikes here, and... Uh... Yeah, it's not looking very friendly. Okay, so I must be supposed to get through here. Maybe I can wave or extended hyper through here. That looks pretty precise, but maybe that's what they expect. So let's start at the beginning. What do we got to do? We have to jump on the move block and get a moved ultra. And then it's a double ultra. So we jump, dash up right into the balloon, and we can't back boost it because we're going into the zone too fast. Just dash up, um, no, dash straight into the next one. Or maybe we dash straight into both of them. We'll find out. So yeah, we dash straight into this one, then um, probably Goltra into the next one. And then... We slide, I bet we just slide through. I bet if we Goltra properly, we just end up sliding right through here. Or we hit the demo. No, hitting the demo would just would just uh, put us in the wrong spot. So I bet we just slide right through here. Probably, I don't know what to do with this one. It's right in the middle of the spinner. Do we dash up right into it? Yeah, that looks reasonable. Or maybe dash straight into it. Okay, so maybe if we demo through this small spot, we'll just catch this balloon. And then, and then however we're supposed to get through here, <laughs> maybe maybe just a jump. Okay, if we've if we've demoed through here, we can't. No, we, no, no. If we demo, we can't grab the balloon because we're crouched. Hmm. Oh well, we'll see. And then I'm guessing we get a wave off of here. Because I'm sure we cannot scoot under that spinner with just a land jump. So if we do a wave, then we're crouched under there. And then maybe we jump in time to avoid the spikes. And then we're going fast enough that we just sail over here to the move block. Which we don't need to be holding grab for. We dash up, grab the thing, throw it right. Do the thing with the, the pummeler. Pummeler, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> and then we do a... A buffered neutral drop and then we dash straight right and do a buffered neutral drop and wow this room looks hard <laughs> then we're here we do a reverse um oh that's that's a block okay it's it's a one way it's hanging out on a vertical one way so yeah we could probably just fall and then do a left plunger jump. Okay, I cannot settle on a thing to call this. It's a plunger jump now, apparently. And then we probably do upright into the balloon, or straight right, depending. Maybe upright or straight right. And then we do an ultra off of this thing down here, this pounder. And then we do a straight right in the balloon, then an upright into this one with a buffered neutral drop, and then straight right into this one, and then we dash through to the end. No. Um, straight run into this one, then ultra, double ultra. And then we're done. Yay! I'm actually gonna start this one tomorrow because I'm sore. See you soon! Day four. Let's try it out. Alright, what happens if we just go? Okay. Uh, we want to dash before we go. Um, I'm having a little trouble. Come on, it's just just trying an ultra. Oh wait, no, I got it backwards. Okay, just go. Yeah. 
So I think we want to coast off of that middle platform and jump off the next one. Ant, come on. No, okay. I was thinking, well, hmm, let's try a double ultra. Wait, no, let's just try, let's just try coasting off and then jumping. Okay, I should just, no, that doesn't work. You do have to start it going. So that's probably what we want to do. We want to dash upright then, and straight, and then we want to be going really, really fast when we do this. So that, oh, yeah, so I've been trying to double ultra off here. It's not working. So I think we just want to slide. Oh, that didn't work. Maybe I do want to use the dash again? Okay, that works. So we slide off and then dash down right again immediately. There we go. Dash straight, then dash down right into this one. So that we can slide through here. And then hopefully that will get me through there. Do we decide that I need to not have grab toggle in this level? And yeah, for this spot, I mean, we have to neutral drop, so... Yeah, we can't have grab toggle in this one. Oh, I just thought of something. Uh, kind of inspired by one of your comments on a previous video. What if I do reverse toggle grab? Like, if I press it to let go? That might be a better idea. Because I gotta neutral... I gotta throw this one, neutral drop it, neutral drop this one. Yeah. I gotta do some neutral drops. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it to inverse. And this is just in the... In the normal game, right? So now... Now I'm grabbing. And if I press it, I'm ungrabbing. Yeah, that's so much better. Okay, I did manage to get a second jump off that middle spot. Hey, I got through. <laughs> so, I had the right idea. I didn't dash into that one, but it seemed to be fine. Um, I didn't I didn't catch this one as I went by it, so maybe I do have to dash upright into it. Hmm, maybe I'm not supposed to dash straight right. Okay, that was cool. Wait, that happened last time too, didn't it? Hmm, so I've got a... When does the next one disappear? Right there. So I just got a dash. Right? Oh yeah, I haven't figured out how to get past, how to get through here. Oh, there we go. There we go, okay. So I dash upright on both of those and then downright to get a Goltra. And I think maybe, maybe just maybe, that if I do it all that right, then this one will send me into this one, which will send me sailing through here. And then I can just like jump off the other side or something. Hmm. No, I did it perfectly that time. Something wasn't quite right there. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do. Maybe I can super through there? Oh. Okay, I did get to the right spot. Maybe I just needed to jump. I'm thinking maybe I can get a, a demo hyper off of that. Like it'll correct me. Like if I slide through here, if I dash after collecting this balloon, then I don't get my ga dash back. So, hmm. But if I do dash after getting this balloon, then I get this balloon. That feels like it's right. I'm not quite sure what to do here. I think I'm gonna look it up and then I will come back a different day because I don't have much time right now and also I'm sore from all this level I've been playing recently. So yeah, sorry for this video coming out later than usual, but uh, yeah, gotta pace myself. See you soon. Day five, let's continue on, see what we gotta do. I totally forgot what to do. So I did look up what to do in this spot and you do dash and lose your dash after you're here grab the balloon, and then crouch jump over here. So I think that was my problem. I was just jumping, not crouch jumping. And it's probably set up just perfect so that you can get a buffer. Hey, I jumped, yeah. Okay, you have to jump faster, or dash up immediately, so that the, pl the block doesn't push you 
Or you have to be holding the grab button so that you're not grabbing. Hmm. Maybe I... Okay. So even if I dash immediately, it's going to be... Yeah. So maybe I, de maybe I do have to be holding the grab button so I don't trigger the platform. Because the platform pushed me because I was too low while I was grabbing the next thing. Nope, there we go. Did that without pressing the grab button. Yeah, so you just gotta be fast. Yeah, I gotta throw and dash quickly. Everything in this level is about quick. Hey, I almost made it. I gotta, I gotta do it and dash, and then dash straight to the right, probably. Okay, I did it. I haven't grabbed though, so I gotta, I gotta hold the grab button as I'm going over there, and I also have to hold diagonal because you can't drop, you can't neutral drop unless you're pressing the downward direction. And the scary thing is, once I get past this neutral drop, there's still more. This, this screen keeps going. It keeps going. There's more and more and more. This is gonna be insane. I might have to do whatchamacallums, uh, save states, if I can find a spot to save state, because this level's so fast, how do you save state? This is how I save state, right here. Did I get it? I didn't hear the, the, the feathers. Wow, this is a huge fast combination of buttons. I have to release, dash, jump, dash. And by release, I mean press the button. There, I would have got it. Yeah. So it's, I, I press the release button, dash left immediately, jump, dash right, hold down right, press release button, and dash. I gotta do that all right here, while in the middle of an extremely fast run. And then there's more level. I did manage to jump over there. Oh wait, no. I don't have another dash. So, I don't ultra. I just jump. Got it, got it. Okay, that was a downright diagonal. That might work. A horizontal, I have to test horizontal, but I got it with a downright. Okay, yeah, downright seems to mostly not work. You probably want to get horizontal there. All right, yeah, as horizontal it is. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This button combination, so fast, so hard. I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. Okay, so I gotta get that spot. Is there another key? Am I seeing another key? Yeah. Oh no, I gotta neutral drop the next balloon too. I got them both. I got them both. Okay. I... Yeah. Okay, upright probably into the next... Uh, right, I gotta... I gotta not just dash. I gotta do the whole bu the plunger thing. Yeah! Made a little, little, little bit of progress. Also, this part right here seemed to be unknown buttons for forever like i could not get the button combination but the i just practiced for minutes yeah it was only minutes i practiced for minutes and then and now i feel like i have this button combination like at first it was like how could i ever get my hands to do this and then five minutes of practice i'm like oh yeah i'm starting to get the hang of it so that's what you gotta do there you gotta do an ultra and then ultra off of the upward moving block like that, and then um, dash upright after it. Kind of like that, but upright. Or or maybe you just got a dash afterwards? Because I'm pretty sure I did upright there. There we go. And then you just gotta... You have to neutral drop that one, then dash to the right through the next one. That's probably it, I think. Uh, there's another block there. So, I, okay, it's time to clear the state. I feel like I'm not comfortable with that yet, but will be comfortable pretty soon. Like, I can get comfortable. Um, I just want to check and see if that's the end, or if there's a little more. So here we are, we gotta neutral drop this one, and then we have to dash right into this one so this opens up. Wait, no, we dash into this one so this closes, then we ultra so that it opens, and then we ultra again. And that gets us to the end. Okay, got it. I think I'll be okay with that. 
I probably would want to practice it a little bit, but I'll just I'll just start from the beginning and see how long it takes me. Okay, got that far from the beginning with getting both keys along the way. That was an accomplishment. Hey, I dropped it. Well, I feel like I got some good practice in today. I started the save state portion feeling like I have no idea how to do these buttons. My hands will not cooperate. And now I'm getting past here fairly commonly. I mean, not very commonly, but I'm getting past here once in a while, starting from the beginning. And yeah, I have to figure out exactly what to do here. I think I gotta go maybe straight right and then up right into here, drop straight right, ultra, ultra, and then that's the end. That's really all I have to do. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I feel like I it, could, it could be pretty soon, although it might be a couple more hours. I uh, just remind myself, I beat Pinball Purgatory and I was stuck on rooms for like six hours sometimes. So if I can beat Pinball Purgatory, I can beat this level. See you soon. Day six. Let's finish this room. Ooh, that was really good. Oh no. Oh, I was one ultra away from the end. I made it. Missed one of the keys, though. Yeah! <laughs> Next room! Oh! Wait. There we go. Oh my goodness, that was hard and my hands hurt. I'm so sore and it took so long. Surely this one will be easy, right? Can I walk up here? Yeah. <laughs> okay, where do I go? I just go on the roofs, right? Just get over the roofs. <laughs> uh, I know there's a berry in one of these rooms. I guess this is probably not it. Okay, I gotta be, I gotta end up high as well as far. So this is moving upward, so maybe I get like a jump off of it. I'm gonna keep invert grab because that has, seems to be working really well. I can just press grab to release whenever I need to. And also I don't have to press I don't have to toggle it on at the beginning of each run. So it looks like maybe I could probably uh That's probably it. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, that feels like it, but then... Can I jump at the after the end or something? Um, I'm having trouble figuring out how to get past the, the next platform. Like, I'm trying to dash up. I'm not... Uh, that's not working. And the problem is I have to jump to get over the spikes, but then when I'm to the right, I'm above the ground, so... I'm not actually landing. It's not diagonal. Yeah, I'm, I'm above the ground. I'm not hitting the ground. Okay, I can jump. If I do it exactly right. I was able to jump once. There, jump a second time. Okay. Alright, so that's probably how you do it. It's really hard. You gotta buffer it. You have to... So I dash and then I press jump and dash like I roll off there's like a one frame difference between jump and dash to the right and then I have to buffer my jump when I get to the other side. I guess I'm gonna get good. Then when we're over here we we have to jump and then dash. Looks like we want to go up left to avoid that lower lip spike. So up left and then jump and then down right like an ultra and then left right and grab. Oh no, dash into the grab and then we then we dash down right to slide through here and then dash up and then left straight right yeah that looks like straight right just left right and then down diagonal into there to slide through here grab it and then probably down diagonal to get a, a wave off of here or a crouch jump 
Yeah, a wave looks like it might be. And then we dash up, jump right, I mean left. Up, jump left. And we dash in the balloon so we get ultra speed across the upward moving thing. Jump, left, jump upright? Yeah, I guess so. We have to get this and, and uh, we land on this and jump. Okay, I think I can do it. But I'm not going to do it today because I am too sore and too tired from the previous room. I've been playing only an hour. In Pumber, I did two hours per play session. In this level, I can only do one per day. So, see you soon. Day 7. This room's impossible. I know I can't do it. It's so hard. It's, it's not physically possible. So, I gotta remind myself what I gotta do. I know I have to dash and then jump and dash the first frame. Jump again. Not diagonally. Wait a minute. No. I'm not getting my dash back. How did I do it the first time? Okay, I'm, I'm managing to get over there. How am I doing this? I'm dashing? Okay, I'm dashing and then I'm pressing jump and dash as if I'm buffering another dash. Okay. Uh, somehow I lost my horizontal momentum. Hmm. Uh, so what I think is happening is that I am, quote, landing above the platform. So it counts as landing. And then I land on the platform, but because I was technically not on the platform, the spikes come up. That might do it. Like just an extended hyper, but stay in the same place. Yeah, it doesn't work with just jumping. Hmm. I think those are automatic spikes. I don't know if I could stand there. Yeah, they just pop up out of the ground and get me. So, it probably has something to do with the, the, the super fast that thing. Hmm. But I'm still not able to jump. I don't, I don't know what to do here. I'm going to look this up. It seems impossible. Okay, the video I saw suggests that instead of dashing immediately, I jump and then wait a little bit to dash? Hmm. I guess I am getting over there. Okay, so I can definitely get over there by doing this. I just need to be able to jump on the other side. Yeah, so getting over there is easier. Okay, I just, I think I got it. It's like, dash jump, dash jump. Yeah, okay. So I really do need to jump as soon as possible. It's like, it's like, it's a, it's like dash, jump, dash, jump. Yeah, and then just do it again. So I gotta look and remind myself of, of how to do this. Okay, I'll have to experiment with after that because, um, you know, why don't I just explain what I'm thinking? So with this one, I'm thinking, how do I get to this one? I think I wanna dash down, but I'm not quite sure. So, Actually, so if I jump and I dash into this one, I have another dash, and then if I dash, use my next dash to dash into this one, then I will have a dash here. So I dash and get the thing, and then I have another dash to get the ultra. Yeah, so I think I want to save this crystal until I'm over here. So no dashing horizontally. Wait, no, no, I have to dash again. I have to dash again so that this one is in the right place. I jump up, dash into there, and then I have another dash, but then, mmm, um, what are my dashes lining up? So I, I have a dash on the ground, I dash to get pushed, I have a dash, this one is to the right. I have to dash again to get it to go to the left, and then dash again to get it to move back to the right. So, I think maybe I don't dash into the balloon. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So I don't think I need the super boost off of the second block. Yeah, and then I have to fall down into that crystal and use that crystal to trigger the next block. Oh hey, you can stand down here. Nice. This might actually be intentional. Oops. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, I can stand down here and wait and rest. And then I can, I can do this thing. Too low. I love being able to rest. Oops, I got the crystal. Oh, I just noticed. This block, 
doesn't have spikes on top. Hmm. I wonder if I'm supposed to land on top of it. Uh, did I just reverse hyper off of that? I think I'm reverse hypering. Okay, those spikes pop up very fast. There we go. So I do that, then buffer and upward dash. And then left, right, dash, drop, you know, the drill. Yeah, saved it. Alright, I'm going to save state here because this is a relatively safe place. And, uh, yeah, I need to practice the next part. I'm getting over here okay. Like, I think I got this first part down. There we go. Okay, I have to neutral drop it. Yeah. This crystal right here, I have to get used to buffering that dash. So I can fly through quite easily. I have to remember to press the let go button. Got it. There we go. It disappears. I don't know if I have to dash into it. Probably not, because I gotta turn around, right? Hmm, maybe I do have to dash into it. I'm not making it to the platform. Oh yeah, I, sh I should just Gultra. There we go. All right, then jump to the other side. I'm gonna clear the state to check it out and uh, land my next moves, but then I'll come back right back there to the same state. Okay, it looks like this is basically the end. We do a stompy to the right, get the balloon, stompy to the, the other way, get the balloon, and then just, um, we, we have the balloon, and we have this upward thing, and we fly over here, and we get horizontal ultras because we're catching balloons. Okay, I can't full jump, though. I have to tap, I have to buffer a tap jump. Or no, maybe I, maybe I, maybe I buffer a jump and then dash. Like, you know, the theme of the level. So my problem is I'm panic pressing when I get that last balloon. I need to just not press any buttons until I'm ready to buffer the jump and dash. I managed the right button sequence, but I dashed too late. Oh, maybe I have to dash diagonally down? Hmm. It does seem like that tunnel's going slightly downward. Hmm, maybe not. I think I did it perfectly right there. Maybe I need to low jump. I'm going to try low jumping now. The problem is it's still really hard to even get there. No, I think that was a low jump. I'll try a few more times. I don't know how to get through here. That was better. There we go. It's just a straight dash. Just a fast straight dash. I made it a little farther. Okay, I know what to do there. I have to dash up and then I have to do the jump dash thing immediately. So high density input. That was, that was kind of good. I did the right buttons. I just was too slow somehow. Hey, I made it to the next platform. All right, I'm getting sore. I am not making progress anymore. So uh, I've decided I'm going to quit for today. See you soon. Day eight. My ball. I am in purgatory. This level's so hard. Okay, I think you have to dash diagonal there. Got the balloon. Okay, I got above the platform. I need to jump again. There we go. All right, let's practice a few more times and then start from the beginning. Okay, there's nothing there. All right, I think I got this. I've been able to, to get past here pretty often, starting from this safe state. And uh, yeah, ready to start from the beginning. Oh, by the way, I saw in the editing that this platform, the platform on the right, is like half a block higher than the one I'm standing on now. So, uh, yeah, it do this does make sense. Yeah! Oh, holy moly. 
Oh, I hear there's a berry around here somewhere. Jank Hyper Rev Wave. Um, is this a platform? Yeah. Can I drop through this? No. Uh, here's how we do this. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay. I'm recording, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I am so glad to be done with that one. I think there's a berry in this room. Yeah. Okay. So, I guess to get the berry, I need to get the keys. Are the keys just... Well, there they are. What's the difference between getting the berry and not getting the berry? Can I just go on without it? Can I just leave? <sighs> there's the yellow one. Wait. The yellow one's for here. And then... then Okay, there's an upper path. The lower path is for the berry. What's the difference? What's the difference? Why does the lower path look easier? Uh... Wait, no. Hmm. So I'm sliding through here. Dash up. Uh... No, don't dash up. Okay, let's just look at this from the beginning. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm down there. It probably has to be like this. Uh, the bird said something about hyper jank. Did it give me instructions? I don't know what to do. So I think I'm gonna start. Uh, wait. Ah. Hyper rev wave. Maybe hyper reverse wave. Oh, like this? Huh. There we go. <laughs> so we hyper reverse wave. I got it. Wow, that's interesting. Hyper reverse wave into a straight. We straight and it's down. So we, uh, that is down. And we hold it until we're here, in which case we do a Ultra. And probably grab this thing. Or just slide through? Wait, what happens if we grab it? Does that make it... Maybe we just slide through? It's probably set up perfectly. And then we're here, we dash up, do the plunger jump, and then into this one. We're going horizontal. Um, we don't have a dash. That seems incorrect. We don't have a dash, but we can jump off of here maybe? We do it perfectly, maybe we just buffer a jump and then up left there. And, uh, um? Maybe we're going fast enough that the balloon goes through here? No, this plunger down Oh, we got a neutral drop this first one. Because this plunger will shove it up there so that it hits that. <laughs> uh, and probably shove it up there so that uh, we're in good time that we can grab it again. So we do the plunger jump, grab the thing, dash up into here, then, then do the... the J Jol Joltra, and then here, and then we do, we have an option. We can go upright or downright. Upright, then uh, Goltra, jump, straight right, I guess. Uh, something happens. <laughs> Maybe we just jump straight through here, and then dash straight into this one, or, or upright into this one, and then we're done. Okay. If we go down, we Goltra into here, and then... We have to neutral drop it. We dash into here, neutral drop, dash, neutral drop, dash. Okay. I mean, it's just some neutral drops, right? I might as well go for it. One, two, three. I think I'm okay with neutral drops. Let me down, please. This room looks like it might not be as hard as the previous one. There we are. We got a neutral drop it. Oh, it's it's dropping in the wrong place. How does that make sense? Okay, I got there. I think I have to dash again. Yeah. It's so... I, I'm going so fast I can't see myself move. Okay, got over there. 
I think I probably forgot to do something. Hmm, no, I'm dashing. I definitely hear it. Oh, there we go. I just gotta do it better. Okay, that definitely gets rid of the balloon. So, I have to figure out how to get this. Maybe instead of neutral dropping, I just throw it? That'd be weird. No, it just disappears if I throw it. I gotta neutral drop it. I gotta time my neutral drop? Are you kidding me? I mean, I got it. I mean, I'm getting it consistently, so maybe it's not so bad. Well, okay, I don't know how I was dropping it before the block previously. Maybe it just wasn't fast enough. I, I jumped. All right, I know I gotta dash upright and then upright again. All right, I did it right. Up until that point. Now, yeah, that took me a long time to memorize the button inputs for that. So now I have to dash left, right, jump, grab the, you know, do the things. Oops, I, I caught that one going that way. Day nine. I'm gonna do my best. Ooh, made some progress, finally. Okay, okay, I got there. I just need to start neutral dropping. I think I got one or two. Hey, look what I did. <laughs> that, that last drop was on accident, but I got the berry. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Nine berries in Grandmaster. Yay, that's a lot. There's more! There's more. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is a lot. This is a lot. Uh. Please tell me this is a berry room and I can skip it. Um... So, we're going, no, where's the end? Is the end over here? No. Is the end over here? No. This room has no end. Maybe the heart's hanging out somewhere and I just don't see it. All right, let's look. We start here, we start here, dash up, plunger dash to the right, grab, Dash to the right, grab, down right, into that, straight down into, uh, well, no, yeah, we dash down right into that one, and we wait, and then we can land down there, it looks like. Okay, we can just land on that platform down there, there's no spikes or anything. Then my guess is we, uh, jump, very slightly, oh no, oh, I see, I see. So, when we're falling down, the platform is to the left. And so we do a jank wave. We do a, a wave to the left, and, and it's very jank, and then we do a reverse wave, uh, and it sends us flying this way. And it looks like we have to neutral drop both of the... Nope, not that one. We have to neutral drop this one so that it goes through here. We grab it, and then neutral drop it right here. All right, I, I feel like I've gotten the hang of neutral drops. They're not too bad for me. That's why I went for the berry. I'm like, I can do this. The difficulty will be this neutral drop is as I'm going to the left, which <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit harder. Um, then what do we do? We probably land and jump and yeah, so we're, we're, we neutral drop and then we just coast on through here, get a buffer jump, and then maybe, maybe dash straight through here, or just maybe it puts us in just the right position that we hit the block. So, we'll, well, I imagine we buffer a jump and then we hit the block. We'll find out when we get there. These are some downward jump throughs. There's a, what am I looking at? Um, we dash down left, 
and get the jump over here to get this crystal. Yeah, that opens a block down here, so it's mandatory. Yeah, so we down left, go through the upper narrow path. Oops. I did not mean to save state there. <laughs> save state in the bino. Yeah, great. Great choice. So we're up there, and then I think it. I probably want to demo. Well, it probably won't make a difference. It's just... Maybe I can just coast through. No, I've got a dash. I'll have to experiment. Maybe I want to dash upright. But if I dash upright, then maybe my, uh, since my hitbox is smaller, it'll be smaller on the bottom because it goes up to the ceiling. And then I pass through that gap with a small hitbox and it, because I'm going fast, it corner corrects me down. So I'll try dashing upright to get through there. Then here, you dash down and then jump dash. No. What? Here, I'm confused. Because this gap looks like a, a pixel perfect gap. Maybe it's not. Somehow I have to find my way to fall through here quite perfectly. And I, if I get the boost off of this plunger and go straight left, I will hit the spinners. That's for sure. If I go up left, maybe I will go past the one way and into the plunger. Yeah, it looks like I have to dash up left to get past the spinner. So then I'm in the plunger and then I hold left and wall jump to let go. And maybe I'm put exactly where I need to be. It would be nicer if, if it, that were a neutral location, but it looks like it's a full wall jump location. Or maybe it's not even perfect. Maybe I need to maneuver myself. Or maybe if I jump up left, or if I dash up left from this crystal, it'll put me in exactly the right place. Maybe it'll just work out. Anyway, I'm falling down here. Everything is the way it is. And I dash. No, I don't, I don't dash. Do I have to miss the crystal? Is that what this is? Oh, here's another idea with this upper part, uh, with that block to the right. Maybe I only dash diagonal and I don't jump. Maybe that would put me in the right spot. Like dash down, dash up left. That could put me in exactly the right spot. So then I land down here, or maybe I just jump through. No, the, that would that would be bad. So I think I want to land down here on top of that block and then get the dash into the thing dash again. This block is going, it, it does basically nothing. And I can try dashing up right again to get past the spinner. And then I fall through here. This is... Hmm. No, maybe I just jump. Maybe I just jump and then I fall through here and then... Because... Wait. Because if I, if I dash, then this block will be where it is now. So I'd have to dash to make it... Okay, no, that makes sense. I dash down to make it go to the right. Then I dash to the right to make it go this way. And then I jump and... What? Dash down? I don't know, this is confusing to me. Because, like, if I do the jump and then dash off of this block, it'll just send me into the spinners. I can't buffer a dash for the crystal because it won't be the right time. Well, maybe I just, maybe instead of jumping again, I just do the dash. So I'm, like, just dashing through these spots. Or just jumping there and then just dashing here. And then if I just dash, then maybe I can buffer a dash downward. Because that looks pixel perfect for sure. Oh, no, no, no. No, there's another plunger here. <laughs> so, if I dash and then jump and dash, then this plunger will be in the pla in place. It'll block me. I'll get the crystal, then I dash down. It puts that plunger out of the way. I think that's only a spike on the top part of it. So then I can dash left, jump, dash down right into a Gultra, grab this, dash right, or, or maybe upright? Oh, is this one of these things where... No, I have to go, I have to dash and get this thing to plunge me upward. Ooh. This level's long, guys. This level's long. It's kind of insane. All right, so I'm dashing right and I dash... I'm gonna try dashing right. That Because you rise a little bit when you dash right and hit a balloon, right? So I dash right, dash right. Okay. The plunger would be down. So I dash again and grab 
the balloon as the plunger pushes me up, and I dash right. Yeah, I buffer a rightward dash. Then I'm here. I've grabbed this, and I guess the plungers push me up. There's two of them. Yeah, so if I buffer a dash on the this lower one, then the plungers should push me up as I grab the balloon, I think. Wait, what's this? Is there a way through this way? Make it easier? Can I make it easier? Anyway, this balloon is probably out of the picture, so we probably can't use it, I'm guessing. And then the end must be over to the right. So, yeah, I imagine that the balloon we dropped down here is gonna be out of the way. It is not gonna be accessible. Because you'd have to get through this whole area in the time it takes to fall just this many pixels. I mean, maybe that'll happen, but that's a lot to go through. Then again, it is happening at breakneck speed. So let's kind of assume that it does. And then we dash upright one last time. Yeah, th these plungers are up. No, we don't dash because this plunger will be down. Yeah, if these leaves weren't here, we could just coast across with this plunger. So these, these are, I mean this balloon. So these plungers are thrusting us upward. Yeah, all the rest are gone. Like we don't drop any others anywhere. So yeah, then we fly to the right and hopefully, hopefully we don't hit the spinners over there. All right, well, we'll, tr we'll start it today and we'll finish it either tomorrow or the next day. No, straight up. There we go, that's how that's done. And then at the bottom, we have to do the jank hyper. Wait, I don't have another dash. I guess I have to land on it first. Yeah, gotta not panic there. I have time. If I just initiate the jank hyper, I can just take my time and do it right. I think I might have to dash up left. Yeah, not straight left, up left. There we go. Then I gotta drop it again. Yep, so a, a jump got me there. I think I, I accidentally dashed though. That's probably why I died. Okay, yep. You get right there, right to the platform. Oh, I see, I see. The platform is coming down. So the gold platform's coming down. That's why, so, ooh. Ho, 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 ho. So that platform comes down. So we hit it and slide down. Dash through there, dash through here, dash, dash through, and then hit it so that we come down in exactly the right spot. It makes sense now. Yeah. Got a, got a diagonal, I think. Well, I did diagonal. I gotta, gotta do it all right. Well, don't dash down there. Yeah, that's how it's done. A diagonal right through there. I think I chose a good save state. <laughs> yeah. So I think I have to fast fall. Yeah, I need to I need to hold down when I get to the slot the move block. Because I can't if I slide, I'm too slow. Yeah, so I gotta get good at doing that. So I can go I can dash straight left. I don't have to diagonal. That was pretty close. There we go. Yeah, and that puts me in exactly the right spot to land on the thing and then do do an up left jump up right at the next block. Okay, so that move block does basically nothing. It's unimportant. Like I don't have to go fast to avoid it. So, hmm, if I if I diagonal off of that block, then it puts me right in the spinners. So I have to figure out what to do there. Well, if I jump, then I, if I just jump, then I hit the side of the roof. I didn't know that was a, oh, right. I'm not standing there. I have maximum speed. What if I, okay, let's test it. Oh no, I can't test it here. Okay, well, yeah, so I seem to hit the underside of the roof. I guess I can just drop straight through and test it. Yeah, I'm hitting something, I'm hitting a block there. Hmm, it might do, I might do well to go back to the looker and look at it. However, well, I guess I could pause. Uh, what's the button? 
there. Yeah, so if I'm underneath this roof, okay, no, I can get over the spinners by jumping. So I wanna jump and then downright diagonal. Like that, okay. Okay, maybe, maybe I wanna dash down with this double crystal, but maybe I wanna dash down left. Down left might put me in a better position. Yeah, okay, got it. So now I have to get the key so that I can practice past there. Also, 7075, 7075. The, the state is saving my deaths, but not the time. And I don't know how to fix that. So if you know how it can do deaths, but not time. See, 9, 92655, 92655. Uh, but I don't know why it's keeping the same deaths. So if you know, please let me know. So it seems this level is not nearly as hard as it looks at first glance. This part is not too bad. Save state here. Okay, so straight down is probably the way to go because that's what I get if I buffer it. So I probably have more frames to get a good straight down than I do to get a down left. Oh, no, maybe I want this platform to be there so that I don't go too high. So maybe I can diagonal into that corner. What? I'm in a cage now. Whoops. Somehow that happened. <laughs> okay, this part is hard. Well, that did it. Do I just jump then? I just jump and hold it. Wait, sometimes I hit the block above, sometimes I don't. Okay, so if I just jump, then I'll hit my head on the block. And then once I'm under the block, I want to dash left. There we go. There we go. Then I dash. Uh, I think I can do a reverse super into a dash. All right, we'll try a reverse wave into a dash. All right, well, it doesn't give me the double crystal back. Okay, so it'd be something like... Something like that. So I just gotta remember, I'm queuing a bunch of dashes and I just gotta push the stick in the right direction for each one. Honestly, although it's taken me a long time to master this part, I feel like I could get good at it. And I'm, I feel like I'm already good at everything that comes before this. So... This room, starting to feel doable. I know there's still another whole section after this. We'll get there when we get there. I mean, I have the double crystal and I'm in the same spot I was before, so. Something pretty close to that, I guess. Wait, there's a there's a green crystal. Wait, it's green? I always thought these crystals were yellow. Why am I, why am I seeing them as green now? Uh, there's a green crystal that is, um, there, so I can dash down into the double crystal. So maybe if I dash down, then left, then I can do my jump into a Gultra better. Maybe it's set up to be better if you do it that way. Okay, I made I made that. I just need to jump into a Gultra. Yeah, I just realized if you don't use that crystal, then you the plungers won't be in the right direction. You won't be able to do it right. Okay, now I think that if I go up left after that plunger on the right, it'll put me in the right spot. Yeah. Yeah! Okay, I can get good at this. This is just a number of buffered dashes. So just pretend like I'm doing that one berry in Mosaic Garden. I kind of did it. I didn't hold it though. I was pretty close. There we go. Probably have to dash upright if I have my guess. Or maybe corner boost. I should try jumping. Yeah, corner boost it is. And then another Goltra. Or maybe not, there is another crystal there, suggesting maybe I should just dash upright. All right, so I'm starting to get through here a little consistently. So I... We'll soon master this part and be on to the next part. Day 10. Maybe we can finish today.
Hmm. Maybe you do need to corner jump there. Corner jump and dash. Nope, nope. I did it without jumping there. Dashing upright works. This is where it ends, guys. This, right, this spot right here is where I give up my playthrough of Strawberry Jam. I can't do it. It's too hard. Hey, I did pretty good. What even happened? So, I dashed. There was another balloon there. There's the one that fell down from above. I forgot that that was there. Hey, I did, I did, I did better. What did I not do? I don't think I dashed all the times. And I think you're supposed to jump between the last two balloons. Or maybe you only have to jump at the last one. Or, no, I guess maybe not jump. Mm, no. Do I just have to be faster in general, I wonder? Hey! Nice to know how to do it. Alright! And that is... Oh, right, I have to press the let go button. <laughs> well, now I know the whole level. And so it's time to start from the beginning. But I may have to do it another... I'll give it a few tries now. But I may have to... May have to come back to it another day because my hands are sore. Also, I've been in safe states for like an hour. And, uh, yeah, um, I don't know why, but it doesn't save my, it, it does save my deaths, but not my time, again. So, 3927, 3927. So, add, like, 2,000 deaths to that for this save state alone. Alright, time to try from the beginning. No way! No way! I actually did it! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh! Alright. Oh! Wow! I've been playing for like two hours today. Two hours and I stuck it through. What is death, right? <laughs> Right, but what if, what if I go over here? Another berry? Nope, okay. Okay, time to put the options. Grab mode is back to the hold. Although with a solar express, I, I might want to put it back. The water's death. So I'm not gonna try the fancy, fancy uh, heart thing in this one. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that level was pain! Ow! I can't believe it. Look, that number's wrong. I have at least 2,000 more deaths than that due to save, save states on the final room alone. My god. <laughs> and the timer was wrong too because, I mean, the timer's like another, couple, another hour or so because of the, it freezes when you do a save state. Ow, my hands. Ow. We haven't looked at these stickers, have we? On the left, that's Summit. Below it is Ivory. And then it's... Dropsol... Kevin Tech Spam. And above that is Fractured... No, Fractured Iridescence is the broken crystal at the top. What's the mushroom? What is the mushroom? Is that the... That, nope, no, Lumbo is the drums on the right. I don't remember anything with mushrooms. Uh, Drifting Deep. Maybe it's drifting deep. Above that, top left is void, void, void abyss, vivid abyss. And then next to it is, I don't know what that one is, some kind of Pokemon. Cycle Man is B-side. And then this, the windows, 74? Bottom left, we have Flipside, cliffside. Then we have lava layer. And then we have cave of the crimson sky. And then we have brain shocks. I don't remember which one that was. 
At the bottom right, we got Pumber. Yes, proud of that one. And then far right, we got Shatter Song. Yeah, there's a couple that I don't recognize. Guys, I've been in Grandmaster Lobby for like six months. I've been in Grandmaster Lobby for like the, the same amount of time that I spent the, in the whole entire rest of the game. It's, 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 I gotta remember that paint is in the same game as the levels I'm still doing now. Alright, look at that. Solar Express is the next one, and I believe it's a Theo level, so I'll be doing a bunch of grabbing there. <laughs> Okay, what else do I want to say? Almost 11 hours for Nolumbo. Nolumbo is the flower that's growing on the vines. Alright, a couple more videos before I start the next mod, uh, Patreon chosen mod. There's still some time to vote there. The next two videos. And then... I wanted to fly through here like a cool person. Then we'll be off to this side of the map. And it's quite far over here. Quite far. Even farther than this. Even farther than this. The map is a lot bigger than I thought. We're almost done with Grandmaster, guys. Can you believe it? All that's left is this level. All that's left is Solar Express. And then we're on to the Grandmaster Heart side. Guys, we're almost done with Strawberry Jam. It's been quite a journey. And I will see you next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Strawberry Jam and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye!